and it's one lap to go. Presented by Credit One Bank. Kyle Larson has led 198 laps today. He will lead 199 if he can close it out. He goes all the way to the bottom of the racetrack through one and two. As dominant as a car as Kyle Larson has been at this racetrack so many times, his best finish has been second. That is until okay, today. Okay. Kyle Larson comes off turn four and Larson will win at Homestead Miami. I think they had it. Arvick off a of turn four down the front straight away, taking the white flag. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank for this four car in the bush light. Healthy lead over Bubba Wallace. Almost cruise home to victory here. 46 years old from Bakersfield, California. This will be his 59th career win. That puts him 10th all time, guys, on the list. 65 starts since the last win for this four team. And he entered Michigan 96 points out of the playoffs in 17th position. As he comes off turn four, the closer, Kevin Harvick, is going to make it happen in Michigan throughout the race. I don't think he had this kind of pace early in the day. It's one lap to go. White flag, one more. Presented one by more, no Credit run. One Bank. Two and a half miles in front of Denny Hamlin. Does he have enough gas? They think he does. Three thousand foot long back straight away, headed toward the tunnel turn. Comfortable lead. He's through the tunnel turn. Now one more turn. No gain. And half of that long straightaway until he sees the checkered flag. It would be his third win of the 2022 season, but more importantly. It would be career win number 49, tying him with Tony Stewart. He's going to win at Pocono again. Coming up on one lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. White flag in the air. One more time around for Tyler Reddick. Getting a lot of great information from his team about the lead, about how he can just take it easy here. Look at him, not using all of the curve there on corner exit, just a smooth entry and exit, no problems. 71 races since Richard Childress racing one. Such an iconic team owner in this sport. Won championships with your dad, tons of races. They've been around forever and they need a win. I'll go by 40, make it the corner here. They put so much into developing the next gen car with NASCAR, being a big part of that. Trying to help this sport move forward. They got a real talent here behind the wheel. An opportunity for them to make some more noise deep into the playoffs with this driver. It all by 30. Just be disciplined. It was 1950 the last season that there were five first time winners through 18 races. And again, 1950 was the second year of the sport. And so that's why there were so many first time winners. It has been seven decades since we have seen something like this. And we are seeing an incredible rise of talent in the Cup Series. And now it's Tyler Reddick's turn. If he can hang on just a few more turns here at Road America, an emotional young man as he goes through the kink on this long straightaway. Canada corner, but Tyler Reddick at just 26 years old won a championship in the Xfinity Series for Junior Motorsports. The very next year went to RCR, won another Xfinity Series championship. They moved him up to the Cup Series. He's been battling with teammate Austin Dillon to be the top car with that organization. And now he's looking to become the 13th different winner in 2022 through 18 races. Tyler Reddick is going to win his first ever Cup Series race. It's the white flag. It is. Is he going to move him? 
Next flag, and it's over. He is. Shot. He's in the back of him. Shots fired off That's turn two. Really good defense. Wow. I don't think he can get to him. He tried. And oh, William Byron go. comes off turn four to win oh, at Martinsville. Awesome. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank for Christopher Bell. This will be his second career win in 92 starts. His first in New Hampshire. He could be the 14th driver to win in 2022. So much success in the Xfinity Series. He's been looking for some consistency and some wins now at the cup level. Off turn four and nothing between him and the checkered flag. Christopher Bell wins at New Hampshire. Presented by Credit One Bank. Needs one and a half more miles out of that set of Goodyear tires. The engine under the hood of this eight car, 500 mile challenge, and it's been an absolute challenge today into the night, Rick. And until he gets all the way out of turn four, nothing is guaranteed. Even with a 1.1 second lead, he goes to the bottom of the racetrack. Through three and four for the final time and looking for career win number three. It's going to come at Texas. Tyler Reddick wins. And it's Elliott to become the fourth and final Hendrick driver to visit victory lane this season. Was fastest in practice. Once that nine car got in the lead, proved to be the fastest okay, in the race as well. Kyle Busch led the most laps today, 103. But Chase Elliott and his Hendrick Motorsports Camaro Gonna lead the last one. Yeah, boys. Caution, out. Check a flag. Caution checker, Martin Truex. So comes to grief on the last lap. Him and the season when he found victory lane. One, one lap, lap to go. Here. Presented by Credit One Bank. And now three car links separate the top two. A.J. Allmendinger trying to find anything in that car to catch the five. Oh, he's going to have to have divine intervention to win this race because Kyle Larson is gone. Here he comes for the final time through turn two, through turn three, setting up for turn number four. It's all Kyle Larson trying to score the double dip as he races his way for the final time at the back straight away at the Glen. The best Chase Elliott could do was work his way back up to fourth position after Kyle Larson ran him wide on turn one of the final restart. An aggressive move, but it's put him in position to win this race comfortably ahead of the 16th car of A.J. Allmendinger. Only a few quarters remain for the five car in checkered flag. Not the wins from Kyle Larson that we saw last year, but now getting momentum going into the playoffs. Larson becoming more dangerous at the time of the year when it matters. Playoffs looming. Kyle Larson set up for a win here. Burton, you mentioned it. He won here a year ago, and he looks to go back to back at the Glen. Kyle Larson comes out on the front stretch. He'll see the checkered flag. Larson wins again at the Glen. Chase Elliott down the back stretch for the final time. A huge lead over Kurt Busch, running in second. Looking for his second win of the 2022 season. He'll get it at Nashville Super Speedway. Chase Elliott wins. A credit one bank, and the gap between one and two, a half a second. Joey Logano right in the middle of the racetrack for the final time. And the gap staying the same. Chastain doesn't have anything for Logano. Joey Logano coming in. He was second in the rankings in this round of eight. But a win here. Welcome to the championship four. One lap to go presented by Credit One Bank. His closest competitor for the race win is Ryan Blaney, a teammate. That teammate has been hungry all year long. But it looks like he's going to have to stay hungry going to 2023 because Logano has been the class of the field all day long. The 32 year old Joey Logano, he's already built a Hall of Fame career. Today he etches his name in stone as one of the few to capture multiple championships. Logano is a two time NASCAR Cup Series champion. Side draft him. The white flag waves, one to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank.
and around goes the 31 sliding down through the grass everybody may get through this he bounces off the wall they've taken the white we are still green Larson with three tenths on Dillon Eric Jones closing up for second can anybody catch Kyle Larson not today he's going to the bottom here watch Jones the big run on the outside Dillon on the bottom slides up right to the tail of the five here they come for the checkered flag Kyle Larson keeps that surfboard trophy in California one bank That's a pretty comfortable rearview mirror or digital rearview mirror looking out the back for Chase Briscoe. He's got plenty of room. He doesn't need to overdrive it. He can be smart. Bring it home. Into turn three for the final time. Driving for his boyhood idol, Tony Stewart. Chase Briscoe becomes the 200th winner in the history of the NASCAR Cup Series. This is the white flag. One more lap. Brought to you by Credit One Bank. The white flag, that is. Well, it's official. Just get this thing limped around there, Kurt. Team 2311. I pick for my ones to walk. Who was that? Well, I mean, you always take the low-hanging fruit, Clint. I mean, come on. This team formed by Denny Hamlin in a conversation with Michael Jordan. What if we go racing? Toyota jumped on board with Bubba Wallace. They became a two-car team. And here comes Kurt Busch to deliver the jump man the victory. Three seconds. Bubba Wallace coming up on the white flag. One lap to go. Presented by Credit One Bank. A win a year ago made history for Bubba Wallace. And now this car with Kurt Busch behind the wheel won earlier this year here at Kansas. Bubba Wallace looking for his second career win in the Cup Series. His final time through three and four. He's going to do it. Bubba Wallace wins at Kansas. And by Credit One Bank. Kevin Harvick. No traffic. The 20 has closed the gap. He's within five car lengths of Kevin Harvick as they come to the final turn. Bell, just not enough time. Kevin Harvick is going to win at Richmond. He goes back to back. Waving over Daniel Suarez. All right, white flag. About a four second, five second lead. You had one come back on here at the top of 3A. Take your time through here. You got no pressure. That's very good information. I wonder if that steering just locked up on uh, Almondinger. or something had to happen there. I think he just got the right sides off in the dirt here. Okay. But the good thing is Daniels through that section doesn't have to worry about that anymore. Just has to make another half good, solid half lap here, get this win under his belt. He's got almost a five second lead over Chris Busher in that 17 right now. So team owner Justin Marks, as we mentioned, Bay Area native, his dad, Michael Marks, up there on the pit box with him. Awaiting what would be the crowning of NASCAR's newest cup race winner. Through turn 10 for the final time. Headed for the hairpin and home. Well, the Fox season opened with Pitbull doing a concert at the racetrack in the Coliseum. He's a partner in Team Trackhouse. And through turn 12, Daniel Suarez is a NASCAR Cup winner. One bank, where will Hamlin go? Kevin's got to run. Kevin's looking to the bottom. Hamlin, excuse me. Almirola moved up. Hamlin made a clean pass. That's it. Within two oh. car lengths, not enough. Turn three, not final overdrive. time. Good. We're not get there. Wow. Now that's Old a different towner, Denny story Hamlin. We heard. Checkered Four flag seven. for Hamlin. Now the white flag is out. One more time around for Chris Busher here at Bristol. Two more turns of the Bass Pro Shops. 
night race. Chris Buescher will win his second Cup Series race, and it happens in Bristol. Corner, great corner by that 43 of Eric Jones. Great corner. He's got lap traffic in front of him. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. Can Hamlin do it? Just a half a lap remaining. The lap traffic's getting way out of the way here. Eric Jones pulls away on the back straightaway. Denny deep into turn three. What will he try to do? Denny Hamlin up to the back bumper. But the 43 of Eric Jones comes out of turn number four. Jones is going to win the Southern 500. Clear. Now what do they do? Where's the smooth? There you go. To the outside. No, it got blocked by the 77. Now a big push coming. One lap to go. Presented by Credit One Bank. Austin Dillon out in front. He could be the guy who wins his way into the playoffs in the final race of the regular season. He has his teammate, Tyler Reddick, who's locked into the playoffs already. Right behind him. Less than a half a lap to go. Cody Ware running in that third spot. Here comes Cindric in the two. Keep an eye on him. I don't know if he has enough time. And he doesn't have help anymore. It has dropped off as they come out of turn number four. Martin Trex Jr. trying to fight back up there to get in at points, but it's Austin Dillon who wins in Daytona. Cinder's ah! got to run on the one car. How hard will Chastain push in the braking zone here? He's in position. Reddick slows through one. He's clean. Lyman Chastain respect. and Cindric. We believe second and third. Chastain still unsure. A lot of respect right there in the breaking zone of turn one. Chastain a little defensive into turn four. And if you're Cindric, you really don't know how to treat Chastain. Is he legal? Is he supposed to be there or not? Cindric got really loose there. Chastain driving away from him. Tyler Reddick, what a race he has put together. Through seven. Reddick now with four car links in front of Ross Chastain and Austin Cedric. This technical section of the Indianapolis road course, Reddick has been perfect. Can he get through 13 for the final time? He does. Oh, he almost misses the corner. Here comes the one of Ross Chastain one more time. Out of 14, Tyler Reddick looking for his second Cup Series win. It's going to come in Indianapolis. Right behind him. Uh, oh, and sideways is Bush. Yeah. Excuse me, Kyle, sideways, loose. One lap to go. The race is official. Logano well out front of Kyle Busch. The race is for third, Kurt Busch and Blaney. Behind them, Ross Chastain, three wide. Nobody surprised. How about that restart? You knew it was going to be wild. Joey Logano, those two were going for it. Joey did exactly what he needed to do. Off turn four, Joey Logano. Oh, yeah. Nice job, dude. The Penske and Ford Miami, Mustang. Baby. A winner in St. Louis. He backwards as Chastain comes up to third. He's oh, going here for he goes second. Down. One lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One this Bank. Exactly he wants what his William Byron side. wants. Side by side behind him. Oh, oh. Bubba Wallace and Blaney. Blaney into the wall with Frisco. Here comes no a run. The one of Ross Chastain. You're going to have to block. Oh, below the white line there by Christopher Bell. They're racing side by side. Perfect scenario for William Byron. There's going to be a massive run coming off this one car for Byron top to bottom hugs that white line drifts up and comes to the line. Oh. He wins it as Busher Haley have a hard crash into the wall. I believe that's Harrison Burton with them at least three cars involved. It's the last lap. Oh, he is oh, oh into the wall. There you oh, go. Logano goes by. Wow. White flag, Do you one lap to go, sponsored by Credit oh One God. Bank. Wow. Ah. Holy. You saw it coming. That 24 was loose. He was having to back up the corner a little bit, but man, 
He got hit pretty hard there. The 22 didn't back the corner he the up. Flag. No. He got the fencher. Eight ahead of Reddick. Eight. Tyler Reddick to second. Byron to third. Haley, Harvick, Elliott, Bell, McDowell, Stenhouse. I told you, every time I talk about a guy, I jinx him. I knew it. What do you say? Joey Logano. Nice job. Take a flag. 28th career win. No help. Either one, Drake. Next flag ends the race. Man, Denny Whoa. drove it up oh, in there. Gonna... Same thing, just like early in the race. Kyle Busch gets loose on the outside. Power move by Denny Hamlin. He's got no help by two. By... The longest and one of the most exciting Coca-Cola 600s ever comes down to the final corner. Denny Hamlin, Kyle Busch, teammates at Joe Gibbs Racing, and they come to the line. Oh, yeah, Hamlin wins boy. by two car lengths. Back, White know. flag. And the cars behind him can't drive up or drive to him because they're single file. Here comes the four tires. This is a two horse race. Who's it going to be? Into three for the final time. Even coming off four. Bowman Clear. edges ahead, clears Larson. Alex Bowman wins Las Vegas. White flag in the air, one more time around. Christopher Bell, can he win his way into the next round of the playoff? Four cars spinning across the front straightaway here. Ty Dillon, the 23 car as well. Ty Gibbs. Briscoe, Larson tied right now for the final spot. Briscoe trying to grab another position. With Briscoe, that. Briscoe's got to make this work. He's got to go find this spot. He's got new tires. The tiebreaker would go to Chase Briscoe, the best finish in this round, if they stay even. Christopher Bell now coming out onto the oval. Bell. What a day this would be for Christopher Bell. Briscoe underneath Eric Jones, but Austin Dillon underneath Briscoe. Those points are going to change again. The final time through the trilogy chicane for Christopher Bell. Right side, right side, all clear, all clear. Cole Custer throwing a block right there on everybody. Briscoe with a huge drive into the rear chicane. A two-point advantage for Briscoe and Christopher Bell. He has done it. He's won his way into the round of eight. The fight for the final transfer spot. Briscoe. Oh, He's done it. He's eliminated the reigning champion. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. LaJoy loose behind the nine. Now he goes to the high side. All the way up into the wall goes LaJoy. He's going to spin around. Oh, He'll collect the field. Caution will come out, and it looks as though the nine of Chase Elliott is going to be scored the winner. Chase Elliott will join his father as the only Georgia born driver now. Two of them to win at Atlanta Motor Speedway. And Chase Briscoe to lock on to him to push him by those two. Kozlowski had the run, but he's going to need Here the help. Comes. Here it comes. Big push from Kyle Busch and from Chase Briscoe. He's locked on there too. He's going to have to stay there. Inside there was comes there for another a push from Kyle Busch on an outside. Even here. Cinder can't get too far Wait, out. Coming, coming to turn three, where it all came undone last year on the final lap. Briscoe's out. He can't get to. Austin car. Sendrick, whose grandfather won the run. Indy 500 as a car owner. Sendrick is going to bring them to the line way up high to block Ryan Blaney. And at the line, Sendrick beats Bubba oh, Wallace oh, oh. by half a car length. And they crash going into turn one. <laughs> if I'm his spotter, I'm telling him everything's in front of him. Don't look Pressure at that mirror. Right Don't worry about Bye anything eight. behind. Just run your lap right now. Chase Briscoe has a flat tire. One lap to go. The leader has seen the white flag, so the next flag 
the race will be over. A.J. Allmendinger, three quarters of a second back. Hey guys, unless the 48 gets close, just leave him alone here. That's Allmendinger's radio. And through the the with Chastain. Yep. Getting through those S's really good. Through the S's, Allmendinger loses a tenth of a second to the leader. Ross has done a great job of getting off the corner, getting back to the gas, not slipping the tire. That has been his strong suit. Ages. Kyle Busch has spun but continues. And he was running fifth. I was just fixing to say the rebound of Joe Gibbs. Here it comes. The last. Ditch effort, dive bomb, quite a ways back. 160 miles an hour, down this back straightaway to turn 12, and then down to 45 miles an hour Look right here. much ground A.J. Almanier gains right there. But Chastain didn't miss the apex. He's on him. Almanier's there. Open the door up. He won't open this one up though right nope. here. Nope. Oh, he's going to use. AJ's going to open it for him. Yeah. Moved him. Moved him. AJ moved Is him. Is he going to get Chastain moved back? Chastain comes back. Chastain, will he answer? And Bowman wants to steal it. Oh, that he'll get the chance. Bowman's under him. Oh, my God. <laughs> Chastain's going to have to front. move them both. Are you going to have to move them both? Oh, he is. Oh. And around goes all the both off the bumper of Chastain. And Ross Chastain beats and bangs his way to turn 20 and off One the race. corner to the checkered flag. Hey, I don't mind that. He got moved and moved him back. Absolutely. Great job, boy. Hell yeah, baby. A big, big push from Eric Jones. Got to him and actually hit him hard. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. Side by side for the lead. Where will the momentum come? They're door to door as they go through one and two. Down the back stretch for the final time. Chase Elliott now nosing ahead. Here comes Blaney fighting back on the inside, the shorter distance around the track. A big push from Michael McDowell in the 34. Elliott with the help of Jones. He searches ahead. Jones moves to the inside. Elliott has the lead. Chase Elliott through the dog leg. Blaney with momentum. He's not going to get there. Elliott's going to win in Talladega. Too wide. It can give everybody right, behind them an opportunity here. to get on them. White flag sponsored by Credit One Bank. You see the flaps it's moving on the one. He's pushing hard. Justin Haley gets out of line here. Austin Big Dillon time goes push. by. Is it too Quarter early to go off of two, Dale? Quarterback. Too soon. Remember where and the start finish line is. Way down. That's right. Turn one and two. Byron spit out to the outside. 29 times this race has been decided by a last lap Pushing pass. You. You. Oh, Kurt to the far. outside. That's going to slow down this one. He now watch it. the momentum with the one car. Too far out. Three back. Kyle Busch. He's out of long ways. Here comes a run with the five. Kyle Larson, big push. Does it go to the outside? He's going to have to. Here he goes. And he's in the wall. Opens the door up for the one. Here Ross Chastain. And on the outside, Kyle Larson added. Oh, my Dane. gosh. How about you? <laughs> Raw bank. Here it comes. Back white flag. Still inside. One chance. He, he lost his nose a little bit on the eight. He's right on him. He's there. This Will he go big. for a slide job? This is it. There he goes. Right he goes. Down, for it. down to the bottom. Slides up in two. Right 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 right. Who's going to save it? Neither one. They That's both spin up, out. Up, Kyle Busch and Kyle Busch yeah, is going to win barely. Steals one. Good. Holy cow. Tyler Red. From Charlotte, one lap to go. Christopher Bell. If he wins the one and the 11, fighting for every point right now, Denny Hamlin, two point favorite to get in as the championship four. Bell out of turn four. He's going to do it. 
He's won his way into the championship. Let's go get us a championship. And the fight for the point right at the line. The one of Chastain past Hamlin. It was a video game move off into turn three. He put the car against the wall wide open all the, right, all the way around turn three and four. Chastain, <laughs> Elliott Bell, and Logano are going to fight for a championship in Phoenix. Take a look at what he did. I have never seen anything like that before in my life.